Welcome to our service on the day of National Reflection. This day, a year ago, our country went down into its first national lockdown. And from that time on, we have seen great changes in the way we live. Changes that will impact us for the rest of our lives. We hope that during this time, you will have a chance to think about the things that have happened to you, the good and the bad, and things that you'll be able to take on into the future. May God be with you this day. In the name, In the name of, of the Father, Father the Son, Son and, and the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen, Lord have mercy. Do you seek him? with all your soul. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Lord, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Ecclesiastes 3, a time for everything. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to uproot. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. Powerful words from Dickens' great work, A Tale of Two Cities a novel set in the French Revolution. In its rambling way, it works its way through the narrative of people trying to come to terms with different situations. As I reflect on this past year, I think that those opening phrases capture what has happened in this past year. The author of Ecclesiastes, the reading that we heard earlier on in this service, also writing thousands of years ago, likewise sets all that has happened in our lives in the context of opposites. The author of that book tells us that there is a season for all things. And the trick of understanding human life is to take all things that God gives us, possibly without any understanding. The best of times. There is no doubt in my mind that there has been a lot to be thankful for. The extraordinary awakening many of us have had to the natural world, appreciated in ways we hadn't noticed for a long time. There have been those acts of kindness and generosity shown by neighbours. Some of us have had to throw ourselves at the mercy of strangers and through that real friendships have been formed. There's also been a time of much needed rest and relaxation and perhaps a chance to learn new skills and catch up with old friends through video and internet calling. Well, also it's been the worst of times. Bereavement and loss have been prevalent. Many people have lost loved ones to the virus or through some other illness and been unable to mourn their parting. There's no, been no chance to grieve as families and friends at funeral services have been reduced. Gatherings have been forbidden. People have lost their jobs, their livelihoods 
and children and young people have missed out on valuable education. Almost everyone can tell a tale of how their lives have changed as a result of this season. The book of Ecclesiastes comes in a section of the Bible that we call the wisdom. These books reveal the complexities of our lives, of how much of what happens to us is unfathomable. Nevertheless, there's a strong sense that God is with us, whatever life brings. All the books of wisdom encourage us to look beyond the immediacy of a situation and to find a purpose otherwise unseen or thought of perhaps what Dickens calls the age of wisdom. So what have we learnt during this strange season? It's been a time of wisdom as we have seen the world change. One young person said to me, I'm never going to take my life for granted again. I think that all of us are reconsidering our priorities Let's be wise as we move forward, growing in faith and love for God. Someone pointed out to me that this has been a season, just part of our lives. Some of us have grown, some of us have been laid fallow. There's a wonderful 19th century hymn by Charlotte Elliot, Just as I am, without one plea. It puts our lives on earth in the same context as the writer of Ecclesiastes. Here for a season, then above, O Lamb of God, I come. We journey through this changing world. The seasons change, but the steadfast of God remains. Amen. In our prayers today, we join with people across the nation in using prayers that the Church of England has prepared for our use today. Lord Jesus Christ, when fear and anxiety besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again. For you are our Lord and God. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful. And lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And a prayer for all who mourn. Gracious God, as we remember before you the thousands who have died, surround us and all who mourn with your strong compassion. Be gentle with us in our grief, protect us from despair, and give us grace to persevere and face the future with hope. In Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. And a prayer remembering the departed. Lord of all, we praise you for all whom we love, but see no longer, who have entered into their rest. Give us grace to follow in their footsteps as they followed in the way of your Son. Thank you for the memory of those you have called to yourself. By each memory, turn our hearts from things seen to things unseen and lead us till we come to the eternal rest you have prepared for your people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
the Collect of the Week. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And after those solemn prayers, we pray a prayer of thanksgiving and hope. Lord, as we look to the promise and hope of Easter, we give thanks for the scientific breakthroughs in vaccine research and production, in genome sequencing, in new treatment protocols, and so many other ways. We honour those who have served on the front line in our hospitals and care homes, in retail and transport, in delivery rounds, in volunteering and in so many other ways. We pray that we and the whole world may be delivered from the scourge of this virus and be better prepared should a new and dangerous pathogen arise in the future. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. And we sum up our prayers in the words that the Lord himself taught us to pray, using the traditional form. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Christ as a light, Illumine and guide me, Christ as a shield, overshadow me, Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak in the mouth of each who speaks to me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send may he guide you through the wilderness protect you through the storm may he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you may he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen